welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back i have been super busy and i am going to start uploading videos trust me when i say i am so apologies because i think the last time i uploaded a video was like a month ago but anyway the girls in the comments have been asking for this video so i'm here to provide it for you <laughs> so today we are talking about the expanders in my last video i did a whole expander unboxing if you haven't watched it go and watch it above and a few people were like well how do you style them so i was like okay do you know what let me show you how to style them this video is all about the styling but if you are brand new to my channel my name is tanique mariah campbell aka bougie in london and we talk things all bougie in beauty and all bougie in fashion so like now you know who i am why not subscribe because we're not gonna get into the video until you subscribe i don't know have you subscribed you have okay let's get into the video okay so i did a whole unboxing about it i'll leave it in the description box below if you want to go and watch it and i have done it above if you click but if you've already watched it here's how to do the styling i've had them for a while now and i absolutely love them they're super comfortable they literally feel like you're on a platform obviously it's a lot of height but it doesn't feel like it's a lot of height <laughs> if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making sense i feel like i'm chatting a whole load of um yeah so i don't know but i found them super comfortable up until a point where i changed roles i was wearing them like every day to work so like they're super comfortable for me anyway and yeah like it's kind of like a trendy piece but now i don't know if i'm over it okay over them is a little bit of a strong statement but i don't know i'm just like is it my style anymore but then i've been filming this video and i'm like absolutely yeah like i definitely think it's worth it it's just like am i getting my cost per wear because i can't wear them in this new role that i'm in no i'm not getting my cost per wear and they weren't cheap were they but anyway let's get into the styling because that's what you guys have been asking me so much for so let's get into look number one and i am currently wearing the look number one I'm wearing this SYJP bomber. I thought, let me go for a bomber, make it a little bit more like street style. Do you know what I mean, babe? And this is like one of my favorite bombers. But I love when I listen to myself back because I'm like, this is one of my favorite bombers. Girl, this is your only bomber. I got rid of so many bombers because I was like, mm, I don't really like bomber jackets. And then I'm reading Autumn Winter 22. It's all about bomber jackets. So I need to be getting some. I really need to be getting some this season. This is the only one that I have that's like chunky. The rest are just some flimsy ones, which they're just not on brand at the moment. But yeah, I thought go with the bomber, make it a little bit more street style. And then I paired it with this Nilly Lowton silk dress. I went for this silk dress because it was giving me feminine. It was giving me elegance. It was giving all the things that I am. Like, how can we make this a little bit more edgy? Stick a bomber on top of it. And then tie in with the silk and the elegance and the feminine i went with this bag from roop i'm sure it's sustainable silk i'm sure it's sustainable silk if it's not it looks like silk <laughs> which as long as the aesthetics are aesthetic <laughs> it really doesn't matter and i really don't give a heck but yeah i thought like that bag was really pretty i was gonna go for a different bag but i thought this would really emphasize the kind of femininity that I was going for, but then street style. And then of course, I got the expanders on with the Balenciaga socks. <laughs> we gotta let them know in case they don't know. You know, some people are like, what are you wearing on your foot? It's Balenciaga. It's a Balenciaga. What is going on? I don't know, my household is very loud. I'm trying to do a video here. I mean just making up so much noise but I thought gotta get the logo in and that's what I did and that was the first look so what did you guys think about the first look what are your thoughts like is it for you did you think I did well with the styling or do you think I'm like way off <laughs> but yeah let me know okay and we're moving on to look two so for look two i wanted a little bit more of a kind of work look classy but like i don't know i don't even know the words to describe it i'm not finding the adjectives that i need to describe it but i thought okay how could i wear it with a blazer without it looking too formal so then i was like okay cool so look two i'm wearing this naked blazer i actually have a few blazers from naked i think the brand is amazing like right now naked if you're watching i need a promo code i need some gifting i need some collaborations but it's one of my favorite brands for go-to products like that are inexpensive that you don't have to spend that much like of course there's zara there but i actually even prefer the quality of naked better and i like the designs i think they're very unique and i have a lot of blazers from them and the quality of the products are like really really good there's only like one or two things that i bought from them that i've been like eh. 
The only thing I don't like is sometimes the sizing's a bit off. Like I have to go for EU34, then I've got things like EU36, and I've got things like EU38, so it's just like, make it make sense, you know what I mean? Other than that, like I really like the brand. So yeah, the blazer is from Vare, and then I'm wearing this bodysuit from H&M, because the bodysuit really be suiting the body. I think the bodysuit is amazing. I've had this for years as well, and it's lasted the test of time. And my BB is really be popping in that, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of sexy, you know? Like we've, we've done elegant, feminine it's time to do sexy edgy and then these shorts are from very they are faux leather shorts and to be honest i've had these shorts since 2018 i think it's 2018 or 2019 one of those days which is really strange for faux leather because faux leather for me i don't really buy into it because it doesn't last i had someone like really criticize me the other day they were like oh you know like you should be supporting veganism but i'm not vegan so i don't know like i do buy into leather like i know there's some kind of um stigma around that but i just think that it's more sustainable and it lasts longer but these have tend to last the test of time so i really like these shorts i never used to wear them because i used to think they were too oversized but now i'm kind of feeling it and then of course on my feet are the expanders with the socks to match and then to kind of bring in the street style i decided to wear this Bottega bum bag and of course Bottega really big Bottega ring <laughs> i love this bum bag i think it's really really cute it actually holds a lot of things in and it is a new piece to my wardrobe so i will include it in my haul which is coming up and i think it really ties in the street look i'm talking really loudly because there's music playing around so i hope you guys can really still hear me <laughs> and i hope the music in the background is not distracting if you can't even hear it then don't worry because it is driving me a little bit insane anyway that is look two wrapped up what do you guys think are you liking look one are you liking look two what are your thoughts on look two was it too much was it too little anyway regardless it's look two for you guys okay guys now for look three a final look and i wanted to go all out and make it really really edgy for you guys so for this look i wanted it to be dark and edgy and give you that kind of real like balenciaga twist so i'm wearing this leather trench from just fab i need to get a new leather trench because i don't actually like this leather trench but um it's in my wardrobe and i wanted to show you the aesthetics the look and then i'm wearing this cut out knitwear from drifter i love the way that it cuts at the side if you want to show a little bit of body absolutely love it and then to go in i'm wearing these wax coated from diesel they're actually becoming one of my favorite jeans to wear to be honest i never liked them i was even gonna sell them like on my depot a while back but because i'm not really into like low rise i really prefer like high rise but i needed a leather look pant one day but i didn't want to wear my leather because it was going to be too warm and then i found these and i was like oh my god amazing and they look great on and then of course i've got the balenciagas on my feet i didn't want the bag to take away from the outfits and just wearing a valentino crossbody bag that is the third and final look i wanted to go for something dark and mysterious but yeah guys what do you think of look one two and three which one was your favorite you guys asked for looks i thought i'd give you three looks <laughs> i don't know if it was enough i don't know if it was too little i don't know if you like them but um comment down below what was your favorite one do you know what i'm even open to other suggestions because i need to get my cosplay wear from these expanders but I think that's it guys if you like that video why not give it a thumbs up if you think anyone can benefit from this video i'll be happy to share this video want to share it as always you can follow me on my social media platforms i'll leave the links down below i'll also leave the links down below where you can purchase all these looks from and of course my expanders but i guess i'll see you in another video remember to always say what guys bougie